Yeah, the Sega Saturn. It's a nice looking device. Nice curves, nice aggressive look. You can have it in black, you can have it in white. You choose. So, how can the Nvidia Shield stack up against this awesome Sega device? I don't know, but this is based on Nvidia and it's basically a streaming, a streaming box because it has the latest Android TV operating system on it so you can watch movies, you can watch Netflix, you can watch Amazon, you can watch YouTube in glorious 4K HDR. Yes you can, but does the Nvidia Shield play audio CDs? No we can't. Does the Nvidia Shield play video CDs? No we can't. And does the Nvidia Shield play Sega Saturn games? Well, actually it can play. And that's awesome. So, let's watch some footage of the Nvidia Shield running Sega Saturn games. So, here we are on the UI of the NVIDIA Shield, as you can see this is the default UI for the Android TV and the application that we are gonna use today to run some Sega Saturn uh, games is the Yaba Sanchiro. Yes, Yaba because this is based on Yubause um, emulator, which is well known, but this one has some special adaptations to make to, to, to fit on the Android TV operating system. And this is the emulator itself. You could see that I already played games here. And uh, yeah, let's try here Daytona USA Circuit Edition. Uh, by the way, this uh, Nvidia Shield only brings 16 gig, at least mine. So I mounted my NAS at home to be... Um, to be able to, to stream or to grab the ISOs from the NAS directly on the emulator. So that's cool. So as you can see there are some flickering uh, on, the, on the emulator but the image quality is really good. Look at that. So let's play the game. I'm using the default uh, gamepad that came with the Nvidia Shield and it looks like it does the, the job done, so I'm happy with it. So let's start here. Oh, sorry, I went back. So start. So I left on the top of the screen, you can see the, the frame rate, and you can see how impressive this is. So simple, Gentlemen, start simple selection, and let's see how good this runs watch the frame rate and it plays really responsibly so that's cool Grab a car to make some kind of accident. Yeah? It's quite different cameras. Yeah, different cameras. So cool. Yeah, it plays really well. So next game. Let's game. Let's select a different one. You should donate to this guy because he did, he did a great job. Um, let's see. Let's go for Fire Ma Fighters Mega Mix. I think this one has some flickering, but let's see. It's a really really awesome fighting game. And uh, yeah, let's try. Let's start. One player mode. Select here, Axel, Rexel. And I think this one has really some flickering around. 
but it doesn't inf really influence the gameplay and this is a live project so I believe uh, this can be fixed as we speak so yeah this is a really cool game I had this game back then player a hell out of it I know I can break this cage somehow and I also can break his armor <laughs> so you can see also plays really well there's some strange flickering I think because of the animation on the cage um, but uh, yeah you still can play it well yeah break his so yeah very cool so next game let's go here exit and um, yeah it's really cool to have a Sega Saturn at your big screen TV and uh, be able to play these classics is awesome um, let's go for Pays the Dragons Y which is one of my favorite games all time yeah so And you see how fast it is to load the game, it's unbelievable. And the games are actually located in the network and not locally on the device. Okay, full motion video, skip. Uh, well, let's do a new game. We skip the introduction and we go for action. This game is awesome. You see how good this stuff looks and you see the frame rate? It's unbelievable that this Nvidia Shield has some real hidden power. By the way, this Nvidia Shield is basically basically um, an, an, an um, Nintendo Switch uh, with less memory RAM memory, but with much higher uh, clock speed than the CPU and GPU. So, yeah. Pretty much cool. This game is really unbelievable how they can do, do this in the, in, the, in the Sega Saturn hardware because it looks great. And everything is disruptive. Cameras, see if they run around. This big guy here. Okay, bye bye. Okay, next game. I want to show you how much, how many games that I, as I can. So, um, Saturn Bomberman plays really well, also. It's quite amazing. Ah, oh, wait, this one. I have to go out again because I think I have to be careful with the ISOs I select because some ISOs they don't play sound but this one is I think this one should that's why you have duplicated uh, games there one is from the queue that actually plays everything well but the other one not because it's from the bean somehow the emulator detect detects both but uh, yeah anyhow you see now this one works perfectly From, from what I see here, the uh, 3D games, the polygon games, they actually look better um, here on the emulator, from what I see. And the um, 2D games like this one, they actually play better using the real hardware and the OSSC, because it's um, the sprites are more smoother, well, not smoother, they are more detailed somehow. But yeah, still looks good, look at that. Pretty much nice, nice stuff, nice animation, nice price. The sprites, say Saturn was known for really quality sprites. Oops.
Bomberman, Saturn Bomberman, by the way, great game. Awesome game, so... Yeah, also nice. So let's check one more. Maybe to finish, to not be so long in the video, to not boring you. Oh, yeah, I have here... Sonic Car, maybe? Sonic Car, Sonic Jam? What do you think? Sonic Car? Sonic Car. Let's go for it. By the way, Sonic Jam also plays great. No issues. Didn't find any issues. Also on Sonic Car, it's quite unbelievable how good this game looks on this emulator and how well this stuff runs. Okay. Select data. Pre. I will select Sonic. Yeah, why not? First level. Cool animations, cool reflections. And you see the frame rate is very, very stable here. Around 30 sec, 30 Ready, frame rates. Set, go. How cool is that, huh? Yeah, I'm Sonic. I can run faster than you. Very complicated to control this game. By the way, you can also enable the analog stick on this game. And then it plays very well then. Go Sonic, go Sonic, run fast Sonic. Fourth place. Damn it. Amy, do it. Dr. Eggman. Tails, come on, we are friends, man. Let me pass. Go to the water, that's a trap. Yeah, oops. Oh, no, no, why? Come on, Tails. Difficult, difficult game to control. Cheating here a little bit. If you want to win. No way I jumped. Here it goes, Knuckles. Thank you, Knuckles. second one who do better so as you can see this emulator is really good I had some difficulties in some games but majority of the games they play really well they have some graphical glitches now and then but as you can see here on Sonic Car, it runs perfectly, perfectly and is very smooth you don't lose anything compared to the real hardware so yeah, I will say this NVIDIA Shield is really a good option if you want to, to uh, enjoy Sega Saturn games and you don't want to, ex to, to uh, spend a lot of money because Sega Saturn games, they are getting really expensive out there. And also, it's a good option if you have the okay, real hardware but you want to have... And let's watch that one more time. Ah, the replay from Sonic Car. Um, yeah, so... It's really a good option to play Sega Saturn games. There are really good ones out there. So, uh, yeah, Nvidia Shield, good, really good emulation system that you can have in, in your living room to connect over your full HD or 4K uh, TV. So, guys, until the next video, bye bye.